all right good greetings everyone we have 2022 paper 1 gce question 22 before us without further ado let's solve it okay so now the first question is find the coordinates of points a and c okay so now before we find the coordinates of a and c i want to make mention that the value of y in the x axis is zero so this is the coordinates this is this is the point where y is equal to zero so everywhere here in the x axis y is equal to zero then in the y axis x is equal to zero in the x axis x is equal to zero so now when finding the coordinates of b and c i mean a and c a and c are in the x axis so what we can do here is to so solutions to rewrite this function which is y is equal to 3 minus 2x minus x squared okay minus x squared the next what you need to do is to since we're finding the values of x here then we substitute so we substitute the value where there is y we substitute with zero since y in the x axis is zero so this will be written as 3 minus 2x minus x squared is equal to zero y is zero because we are finding the values of x there okay so just to arrange this equation nicely it will be starting with x squared next will be negative x squared minus 2x plus 3 is equal to zero plus 3 is equal to zero then what you need to do let's multiply throughout by negative 1 so that we get rid of this negative which is in front here negative plus negative will be negative x negative and positive x squared negative plus negative positive 2 negative there times negative 1 times positive 3 will be negative 3 is equal to 0 there then what you need to do now is to factorize by quadratic uh, first we find the product of a and c the value of a here is the number in front of a variable squared any variable in this case is x squared so the value of a is 1 the value of b is 2 and the value of c is negative 3 therefore a here is 1 c is negative 3 so the product is negative 3 the product of a and c is negative 3 then the sum the sum is the b and b is positive 2 now we need to look for two factors two numbers two factors of 3 when you multiply they should give us negative 3 and when you add they should give us positive 2 so these factors are 1 and 3 now which one should be negative if if we put this negative 1 if this this one be negative 1 negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 negative 1 plus 3 is what positive 2 so this one agrees so for our factors are negative 1 and negative 1 and positive 3 so we're going to replace these factors with this b x squared minus 1 so just write minus x plus 3x minus 3 is equal to 0 then we factorize by grouping factorizing by grouping x common here is x x into x squared is x x into x is minus 1 common factor here is positive 3 
positive 3 into 3x three is x. Positive divided by negative is negative. 3 into 3, 1 is equal to 0. Alright? So here, what is common is negative x minus 1. Then this x, you just put it in brackets with the positive 3 there, is equal to 0. Okay? Is equal to 0. Alright, so x minus 1 is equal to 0 and x plus 3 is equal to 0. We solve for x. x is equal to 1 and x here is equal to negative 3. So if you look at the values of a and c, which one should be negative? Automatically a should be negative and c is on the positive side. Therefore, the coordinates of A are negative 3, y is 0 in this line. And the coordinates of B are positive 1 and 0. So this is, these are the coordinates and this is the answer to the first question. Second, and, which is, and the last question, which is B, we are asked to find the coordinates of the turning point, I mean the coordinates of the, ten, ten, the turning point of the graph. Now, to find the turning point of the graph, we use the, first, the formula, we need to find the x coordinate, which is calculated using this formula, x is equal to negative b, two, uh, negative b over 2a. So according to this, negative b the value of b is 2 so it will be negative 2 over 2 times a is positive 1 so x is equal to negative 2 over 2 2 into negative 2 is negative 1 so the value of x is negative is negative 1 the value of x is negative 1 now let's find the value of y so to find the value of y you just substitute you can either substitute the value of x in the original equation and solve for y or use the formula. So now, let's, start, let's just substitute the value of um, x in the original formula function. So y is equal to 3 minus 2x minus x squared. <clears throat> y is equal to 3 minus 2. x is negative 1 minus negative 1 squared y is equal to 3 negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2 then here you can't multiply before since this negative 1 is squared so negative 1 squared is positive 1 so here we have minus 1 this is a negative this this positive 1 so 3 plus 2 5 minus 1 um, 4. So, therefore, the coordinates of the uh, turning points are negative 1, comma, positive 4. Negative 1, comma, 4. And the, this is the answer. Thank you very much. Remember to subscribe. See you in the next video.